Hello, I'm in Kobayashi, and today I'm going to do the author newbie tag. I've been on booktube for a fair bit of time. I'm gonna do it now. Uh, so the first question is, how did you find out about AuthorTube? I kind of threw Jenna Moresi. I've been watching her for years. I didn't know that AuthorTube was really a thing. I didn't know what booktube was a thing. So it all kind of came together in the last few months. <laughs> what genre do I normally primarily write in? I primarily write high fantasy. I also write contemporary, mostly mental health concerning contemporary, and World War I era. Three, what is your preferred writing tense to view and category of story? So I mostly write an adult. I also write a fair bit of new adult and adult also though. I, I prefer third person to read but I always find myself going back and going back into first person and I have to change it. Category of story. I like books that make me think. I try to write books that make me think and other people think. And I pretty much, I think, wrote at least part of a book in every single genre except for horror and erotica because I don't read those. I'm not going to write them. But I'm definitely a plotter. I plot everything. I have to write like things on paper if I don't want to like plot everything. I get like a nervous tick after like two pages of writing. I'm just like I need to write all the details. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people don't have consistent information. Are you self-published, published, or um, yet to be published? I am yet to be published. I have not published a book. I have finished a novel and one of my novels will hopefully be published in the next few years. Uh, what would you like to be published as and who is your agent and stuff? I would like to be self-published through a self-published author and I realized through that process that self-marketing is very difficult and it's very hard to get uh, your books sold which is very sad because many great self-published books are out there and people just don't read them. So I'm debating between that and I would like people to read a book if I'm going to go to the effort to publish it, but I also like the idea of self-publish, so who knows. So what author to related videos can we expect on your channel? So I don't think that my writing process is very recommendable. I have a plethora of stories that are all over the place all the time. I have to think of actual good advice though. One thing I'm very interested in doing is talking about things that affect writing, because that's something that's not mentioned nearly enough or ever. I've never heard things like that. For instance, something that affects me as a writer is that I'm a very calm person. So the idea of like holding a grudge forever, the idea of blowing up at someone, it doesn't make sense to me. That's something that you as a writer, you always have to be aware of where you're coming from. And I feel like that's something that needs to be talked about more. So I might do stuff like that. Tell me if you're interested. When did you first start writing? The first time I started writing on a computer was in March of 2009 when I was 12. It's going to be 13 later on that year. Uh, the first book that I wrote on there was called A Country Girl and it jumped right into discrimination in 1911. I still hope to publish this book one day. It won't be called A Country Girl. That's the current title because she wants to just be a normal country girl rather than constantly her race being brought up. Authors have inspired you. Pamela Mehmet, my sister. I cannot say that I would be the person I was today without my sister. The way that I write, the way that I think is very influenced on her writing style. So C.S. Lewis, my love for high fantasy is definitely inspired by him and some other very authors that I definitely take inspiration as some of my favorite authors would be Collad Hussini, Marissa Meyer, and Rick Riordan. I can't write if I'm not in the mood. I will just stare at the page. Whenever I'm feeling like it, whatever story I'm feeling like that, that's probably why I have like 200 <laughs> documents on my computer just related to stories, not including about eight binders of books. I have way too much stuff. What do you normally write on? Computer typewriter and everything by hand. I really want to write stuff. I will write it on hand because on a computer I'm constantly going to check it for errors. The only book that I've ever finished is completely written by hand and I'm currently putting it on a computer. What are you most looking forward to as being a part of the AuthorTube community? Being able to learn new techniques, being able to talk to people about writing. Writing is a huge part of my life. It has pretty much consumed my life since I was 12 years old and even before that I was storytelling. So people that can actually understand that are rare and I'm really interested in talking to people about that. So one of the things was to share a piece of your writing at the end of this so that people get an example. This is one of like, I'm not going to say my darkest works because I have a lot of dark work. This is one of my assignments for grade 12 writer's craft and so it's almost three years old but it's still one of my proudest works that I've ever written. It's the end of a story 
Flashes of light interrupt the dark surrounding me, my name echoing from every direction, haunting the air constantly. They never stop searching, calling, and hoping that I'll answer. Little do they know that close by my body lays motionless in the mud. My ebony skin faded, my dress shredded, my left heel misplaced. Little do they know that a bruise is still forming above my ankle, or that my purple lips are frozen in an eternal scream, with no breath in my lungs to make a sound. Yet my pursed lips no longer wish to reply. Once they find me, my story will never be my own again. They'll dig up my past, they'll expose my secrets, as if I wasn't present. Nona will cry, yet I can offer her no forgiveness. For all these reasons, I hope the mire will consume me and leave no trace. Yet after an interval of time, they indeed find me, white as the ghost that I am, and as cold as death itself. Some clotted blood rested on my empty chest. They feel for my pulse, but find none. Slightly dark. I love it, though. I'm not sadistic. I'm just a writer. I might be on a watch list for things I look up, though. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this, and I hope that you'll tune in again. Uh, have a great time, and happy reading and writing.